Welcome everybody to this quick unboxing. Um, as you can tell by the title, it is another Mercurial Superfly. Um, this time it's the Killing Mbappe uh, collab. Um, I haven't seen these in person yet, so this is gonna be the first time seeing them. And I say that, that I haven't seen them in person just because usually I will go down to a store here in Disney Springs. There's a, a store called Pere Soccer, and I'll go check out any new releases that have came out um, before I receive my stuff. Or sometimes if I'm not sure about ordering something, I'll go check it out first um, and just see if I something I want to review or order, anything like that. And right away in the box, got big old 93 logo it reminds me of the when they had the t90 stuff going on that they had the big old um, circular logo with the 90 inside but to my understanding is what it is um, it's like the area code of bondi bande i'm not french so i don't know um basically bande I don't, i'm probably saying it wrong bondi i'm just gonna call, say bondi so Bondi is where Mbappe is from. So they kind of collab that um, city with him. And so the box has the area code of 93. And then of course the French logo on it's right there. There's my usual size, 10 and a half. Um, and it's a little bit bigger than normal box. Um, oh, and this is really cool to me. They incorporated, um, the Mercurial logo in the M of Mbappe, which I had said in a previous video that I think that he was the one that was going to take over the Mercurial series once uh, Ronaldo retired or once he got a little bit older. And because Neymar is young, well, I mean, he's not old, but he's not young either. So I don't know how much time he has left, really. And then he's always getting hurt. Um, so I think Mbappe would be a smart choice because he's like 20 years old, 21 years old, and he can carry on the line for still another nine to 10 years. Um, so, and that's basically, I think what they're doing with this, which is weird because they had him, um, um, wearing the, the Ronaldo Superfly. Um, I don't know what that was about. Why not just give him the regular Superfly if they were going to be giving him his own, uh, oh, but also on the box, the detail is the two um, France stars for the World Cup, for France winning the World Cup twice, which Mbappe was a part of that. Um, and let's open up the box. Oh, so some right there. Um, it says, ooh, it's in French. Sans risque il nu a pas de victory. Oh, designed to the specifications of Kylian Mbappe. And then the 93-140 right, right there, which I assume that is the full um, area code of Bondi. Like I said, uh, I'm not French. I don't speak French, so I'm probably saying that wrong. So don't kill me. But ooh, this is, I'm gonna say this is my favorite release of 2019. You're not going to get better than this. These are just beautiful. Not going to get better than this. And these actually sold out. I wasn't expecting them to sell out. Um, and I, these were released for some reason. They popped up on Nike website, um, early. And I don't know if it's just for me that, or for people employees it shows up and i know it's going to release when it shows up um but it, it, they sh it sh it'll show up and then they'll take it down and then it's gonna you know it's gonna be releasing in a few days um so that's what happened with this one and honestly i wasn't going to pull the trigger because i figure they the latest releases have been sitting whether it's a ronaldo or, or, or neymar so I didn't think these were gonna sell out, but something told me um, after I let them sit there for a little bit, something told me to just go ahead and buy them, and I did, and they sold out. 
I don't know if they're going to be releasing them again. I don't know how many pairs they actually made. Um, I would I would think they might release them again because these this is a, a spectacular boot. So the colors, official colors are vast gray, metallic, vivid gold. Um, and it's got this like green. So, all right, so there's a lot of little details in the shoe. Um, as you can tell, I don't know, hopefully you can tell with the light, um, but it's got um, the, the gray upper. It's got your the French national flag right there in the back. It's got a 93 in gold on the front. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. Um, and then on the swoosh, it says Nike by Mbappe by Bondi. I don't think the camera is going to pick it up because it's probably too bright. Um, and then you got this green, which is kind of the outline or the map, I want to say, of Bondi, which is pretty cool. And I want to call these the money superflies. It just screams money to me. Green, gold, dollar signs. Um, but I'm telling you, this is my favorite release of 2019. And what a way to end 2019, right? Because this is going to be the last shoe that I get or that I got from 2019. And it's pretty amazing. Now, what everybody likes to look at is the spring, the, <laughs> the spring bag, the string bag. There it is. And of course, same stuff. Um, the 93, which you probably can't pick up but this one's on the front it does have his initials i think and then the, the swoosh kind of cool um but yeah so that's the boot um i'm not going to talk about anything else because i've already talked about the superfly it's the exact same um shoe all the specifications are the same nothing different it's just the colorway is different i think for his first um signature boot i think it's excellent i think it's great um they really put a lot of details in it again you got your two stars on the front on this one right here um and then you have his kind of logo with his initials on the front km you can see right there um so yeah definitely nike really did a really good job with these. <clears throat> they put a lot into the box, um, into the string bag, which is like a, a, a velvety, you know, it's kind of like the TechCraft version. Um, and it was a premium price. It was $300 if for a normal um, price, um, or sorry, 300 retail price. Um, and I think it's, it's it's great. It's almost like the the gray upper now that I think about it of uh, Neymar's boot. Maybe a little bit lighter, but just these are just amazing. I really like what Nike did, and I feel they're gonna have success with the Mercurial line for a long time. I'm glad that these only released in a Superfly version because that's what I said. If they weren't gonna change the shoe. Um, uh tech wise they should at least just offer different colors so if you wanted a certain color in a vapor you know superfly like keep them separate that may that is gives a little bit enough of a reason for somebody to want to buy you know either or but right now it's just you know doesn't make much sense to purchase the superfly because you're only adding the collar but if it's going to be a signature line in a superfly and a signature line uh, in a vapor such as Neymar, you know, they, they released the dream um, uh, Superfly in a vapor as well and I don't no one's wearing that um, I don't see much people buying that one You know, so if Nike just continues to do this one or the other or certain colors, I think they'll be A-okay, they'll be fine and hopefully they just continue to make awesome um, Designs like this and not just give a, a, a um like a color towards a certain player or actually just you know make them a whole concept shoe um, i don't know if he had a lot to do with this design 
or it was just Nike saying, this is what we want for you. Do you like it? Um, I'm pretty sure you probably had some input in, in the shoe. So um, Nike really killed it. Last shoe of 2019. Um, yeah, uh, I want to say real quick, thank you guys for riding along through this year and through previous years. And if you're joining me to into 2020, thank you. Um, I'm kind of excited. I don't know what is going to be the first boot of 2020, but I can tell you that I'm already excited and I can't wait for that. Um, I'm going to be doing like a little recap. I just don't know if I'm going to do it before the year is up or after the year. Um, but yeah, just talking about my releases. I don't know if I'll do a best of 2019, like a top five, um, but definitely there's no need to because this is going to be number one this will be number one for sure there there wasn't another boot i don't think that i like better than this one um if you would like to see a play test in 2019 or sorry if you would like to see a play test in 2020 i could do that um possibly uh, my season is done for a little bit not until 2020 so i don't know if i'll be getting on the pitch on the field anytime soon um but yeah uh, like i said again thank you for everybody who subscribed in 2019 and before and we'll see you guys in 2020 with more great videos peace